he's moving up there just okay. behind that bushes over there so we just gotcha. try to stalk him behind this bush and see if we can get close enough thing was going through my, my mind was let this be a successful stock this is a great animal we got quite a lot of hartebees here that's a unique looking animal with his horns that come up and bend back it's a real difficult animal to hunt it's pretty spooky it's almost a sixth sense that you kind of develop as a hunter knowing when to move when not to move and it's uh, it only comes with time you, you can't learn this in a book you can't frankly watch it on TV you have to live it you have to do it and that's how you get better but that's why it's so much fun you still walk yeah, away from us okay so only if you're ready he's going to turn okay there he is can you see me take him when you're ready now. take him when you're ready okay I'm ready you can take him now let him turn let him turn okay I'm right on the shelf no Nice shot! <laughs> right, baby! Well done! <laughs> Whoa, That's your first animal oh. in Africa. Well done, man! Namibia is fast becoming one of the premier safari destinations in Africa. The rich variety of the country's wildlife offers hunting at every level from dangerous game to magnificent plains antelope, a worthy match for any hunter. Add to that the striking geographical contrast of mountains, bush, and deserts, and you have a hunter's dream land. Hot damn, man, way to go. Thank you. Good shooting, buddy. Did you rest, will you? That was, uh, that was pretty slick. Good spot in there, Captain. Way to make it. This is my first trip to Africa, and boy, what an experience. It's never too early or too late to experience Africa. And in making his first trip there, lifelong hunter Gary Hilton draws his inspiration from the likes of Theodore Roosevelt and Ernest Hemingway, who trod the continent's game trails before him. Hilton will be fulfilling a childhood dream on this journey. Hilton and host Chris Dorsey, who have enjoyed many hunting adventures in each other's company before, have come to track some of the unique game that is found in such rich abundance in Namibia. I couldn't imagine what Africa would be like. And this is, this is, this is it. Today you are an African hunter. Thank you. Leading Hilton and Dorsey on safari is professional hunter Danny Van Vuren. With 15 years of experience, Van Vuren and his brother have operated Trophy Tracking's hunting safaris across 200,000 acres of unspoiled habitat that hold a majority of Namibia's big game species. Just to fulfill one of uh, other person's dream that were dreaming their whole life coming over to Africa and finally got the animal in Africa. That is, that is the best part for me to see. Growing up, Africa was always a place that you wanted to go. You saw the, the places and the plains and the great herds of, of animals. Having an interest in hunting, you always wanted to come here. Can you see him over there? Yes, I see him. Yeah, that's a nice, it's an old bull, real thick horns. I think that's one to go after. We'll take him. Okay, let's go and see if we can get close. That's a good bull, that's a good bull right there. Can you see him? That's a really good bull. He's a little bit behind brush there, eh? but we just wait. When he comes out there, we might have a shot. Too much brush. So Too we much just brush. wait. No way. The wind is turning. No way. I hope it does. It's tough. That'd be a tough shot. Right? The wind's gonna turn. Oh no, he's going. No, he's going. Let's let's go around and see if we can cut him off. You go. That was a good shot, though. Yep. That was tough. Okay, come. He's he's heading to an opening over there. Okay. He's slowing down. You can see left. He's okay. He's gonna stop in that opening. Once you stop in the opening. Oh, he's through the opening, he's behind that brush. Can you see him? I got him. Do you got a shot on him? I got him. Get him again, get him again. Get him again. Bro, bro. Get him again. Give him another shot. Get him again. I say. Okay, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Wait, he's behind the brush there. He went down back behind that brush. Okay. Yeah, now he's... Just give him a second, huh? Give him a second to calm down. He went down. <laughs> he went down. Thank great you, shot. <laughs> <laughs> great shot. One of your great fears when you're, when you're hunting these animals is they're so beautiful 
it's so majestic that, that when you when you finally get the stalk and you go up to them, you think, well, maybe I'll look at the animal instead of the crosshairs on the skull. They represent all that you've dreamed about. Look at this thing. That wow. is a heavy, wow. heavy old bull. Wow. This is an Look old that. bull. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Man. When you, when Man. you first spot them over there, uh -huh. this white face, you can see this color yeah, that, yeah. that stood out there. Mm -hmm. And with your gimspock and all your other animals, they are the same as humans, left or right-handed. So on this one you can see he was left-handed, so this one is shorter than the, the right, right one. Shorter. Yep, he, he sharpened this all the time. Welcome to Africa. Success. Yeah, success. The kudu is one of the great hunter's dreams. And as Robert Ruark wrote, there are all sorts of ways to hunt them. Ernest Hemingway wrote most famously of hunting kudu that it is pleasant to hunt something that you want very much, being outwitted, outmaneuvered, but knowing every time you are out that sooner or later your luck will change and that you will get the chance that you are seeking. The animal most on my list that really that you really want to hunt and you're hoping for the best. I mean, you're hoping for the absolute best and a kudu is it, it represents Africa. And you can hide a lot of kudu in that country. Whew. A lot of color for them to hide. They like it, the thicker the better. That's right. right. And this is where they got all that food for them. They can see you and you can't see them. For three days for a, for a good kudu, and we made several stalks, uh, only to, to have the kudu elude us. You just need to be a little bit smaller than them. The third day of the hunt, I'm thinking, well, maybe this is not going to happen. This, this, maybe this kudus are going to elude me, and uh, I just won't fulfill this dream. Right there, right there, right there, right there. There's a female standing. She's busy feeding the. There's a young bull. There's a bull. There's a bull to the left here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going through this thick cover over here. See if we can get closer for a shot. Okay, you ready? Okay. We have to move these hostels. Okay. 30 minutes from dark, we saw this kudu, our professional hunter, Donnie, said this is a good animal. 175, put it right on him, right on him. Is that, is that her bull? I'm, I'm gonna That's whistle, it. then he will stop okay. maybe in that opening. He's got that opening, he's still running. Okay, Gary. Good hit, good hit, Chamber. Get ready, get ready. Another one. Ah, uh, no, he's down. No, he's, he's down. down. Oh, baby. Well done. Oh, baby. <laughs> Africa again. Well Come on, you will never shoot your first kudu again. I mean, that's a spectacular animal. You know, when you walk up on a kudu for the first time, you know, they look beautiful from 200 yards away, but when you walk up on one that you've made your own with a great shot, that's for the ages right there, man. I was shaking all over. And uh, of course, this whole trip, I've been on some kind of high, you know, <laughs> that up here that, you know, only a hunter can make. That is a trophy of a lifetime right there. It is. No it doubt. took Gary Hilton 65 years to make his way to Africa, but he proved you can pack a lifetime of hunting into one safari.